Good day class. Our topic for fluid machinery will be the first part, yung ating Bernoulli's equation, and then the idea, second part, nung inyong pumps. So the problem solving will be done after the uh, discussions. So let's go with the discussion for Bernoulli's equation. Now for the Bernoulli's equation, napag-usapan na natin ito nung at tayo yung nasa fluid mechanics pa. So simply, it is an energy equation. Energy of what? A fluid that is moving to a conduit. Pwede rin namang a fluid that is moving in a uh, flow area or flow path. Now, it is defined that it is the energy of the flowing fluid per unit time. Passing any upstream section is the same as the energy per unit time. Passing any, the, any downstream section. Ibig sabihin, kung ano man yung pababa na motion niya, mula taas hanggang pababa, will be the same na energy na i-input mo pataas hanggang pababa ng iyong stream. Now, for the Bernoulli's equation, we have this equation, itong buong to. Saan ba galing to, sir? Tandaan nyo, this is, this is galing dun sa energy equation ng ano, pinagsama-sama mo yung potential gain or the change in potential energy plus in change in kinetic energy. Ayan o. Kinetic energy, ano pa? Mm -hmm. Plus yung head losses. Ayan. Pinagsama-sama mo. That will be equal to the energy. Ano bang minimeasure natin pagdating ng Bernoulli's equation? Siyempre, yung total head ang kinukuha natin dyan. What is the total head na kinukuha natin? Yung total dynamic head. Ayan. Total dynamic head. So, mapag-uusapan natin itong total dynamic head pagdating ng ating pumps. But for an insight, pagdating ng Bernoulli's principle, okay, it is yung energy in, E in, in, is equal to E out. Ganun lang naman yun eh. Yun yung sinasabi niya dito. That, yung energy daw of the fluid passing up through the up upstream section is the same as the unit of the energy that is passing to any downstream section na same lang nung inyong uh, pinag-path. Uh, now, sabi dito, energy in is equal to energy out. That is true. Yan. Now, ano ba yung mga energy na yon From your ano, ano ba meron kang mga conditions do? Meron kang condition at the inlet na pressure, velocity, and then, Ano? Meron kang datum, height. Ganon din dito. May velocity, may height, may pressure. Now, ano ba ang kailangan natin i-consider dito? Now, tandaan nyo, yung pressure nyo, to recall, that the pressure is equal to rho nung substance times g times a. Getting my point? So, <clears throat> itong buong to, we put that into an equation, okay? So, let me have this one. Lakayan natin. So, yung P, rho 1, G, H, 1, equal to, uh, plus, yung uh, rho, tapos, V1 squared over 2, plus, rho, 1, G, H, 1. This will be equal to, equal to, okay? Equal to uh, rho 1, kasi same fluid lang naman yan, okay? Rho 1, G, H, 2. Ganun yung iyong pressure. Kaya lang ang pinag-uusapan mo kasi dito, rho G, H, Rho G H, or pwede rin itong ganyan, no, density, tsaka height. Ngayon, pag dinivide mo to lahat ng G, lahat ng uh, Rho and G, ngayon, ang lalabas dyan, ito na yung shortcut. Okay? Hindi ko na pahabain. Baka maubusan tayo ng espasyo. Now, yung head dito, 
sa inlet will be equal to the head on the outlet. Okay. See this pipe. Okay. So you have this inlet condition and then you have an outlet condition. Now at your inlet condition, if this is your datum line, datum line or the reference line kung saan kukunan mo yung iyong zero line na pagmumula ng iyong head. This is the zero line or the datum line. Ibig sabihin, energy in, energy out. But dito, since this is a continuity equation, ang papasok dito na velocity, ah, velocity tuloy, volume flow rate na Q, 1, will be equal to Q, 2. Okay. Kaya, nagkaroon tayo ng continuity. Yan. Okay, tuturo ko sa inyo yan, yung process yan sa calculator. Kung paano mapapabilis ang ating calculation. Now, H1 is potential head. Ito is velocity head and pressure head. Ganito yan. So, the pressure head or HP is equal to the pressure at the, con at the inlet or the outlet divided by rho G. Yan. Ano naman yung velocity head? Yan, VH. So, V is squared over 2G. Pero yung V, ngayon, Wala kang binigay na flow. Paano makukuha yung V? Sir, ganito. You will get V using this equation. Pwedeng V is equal to 2GH. Square root ng 2GH. Or, gamit ito. Paano makukuha yung V? Okay? Paano makukuha yung V? Sa Q. Ayan o, Q. Equal to A, V. Ano ba yung V natin? Ito, ano to? Q. Mm -hmm. 4, Q. Over pi v squared equal to v. Yan na yung shortcut natin, ha? Huwag nyo kakalimutan to. Yan yung ating velocity head. Now, potential head, h, z, o, di z lang yan. O, ngayon, papasok dito, sir, laging additive sa dulo yung head loss. Head loss, anything. Pag hindi sinabi, matik yan, Darcy. Kapag nagbigay ng coefficient, okay, nagbigay siya ng coefficient, Morse coefficient, matik yan. Morse. Yun lang naman yung dalawang ginagamit pagdating ng ating fluid mechanics. Mani, Chessy, Puawil, hindi na ginagamit masyado yun. Okay. So, paano nga ba yung notation natin kapag in natin siya? If this is your datum line, ngayon, meron kang Suction discharge. Ngayon, meron kang pressure at suction. Okay? So, how will you measure the total head na i-input nitong inyong pump? Ganun lang naman kasi ang ating uh, measurement pagdating ng pump. The head. Ano ba ang kailangan natin sa Bernoulli? Head. Bernoulli's purpose, pag itong pinag-uusapan natin, Bernoulli's, ang dinidetermine natin dito is the total head. Yan. So, ano ba yung total head na yun? Okay? So, the total head for your Bernoulli, head total H na maliit, equal to yung head ni velocity plus pressure head plus yung static head plus head losses. Ayan. Kapag Bernoulli, yan lang pinag-usapan. Now, sir, meron ako ditong pressure. Ayan, pressure yan. So, pakita natin. So, you have a pressure here. Pressure at suction. Meron ka ditong pressure at your discharge. Okay? Pressure at discharge. Meron kang size dito ng iyong pipe, which is, ang size niya is uh, ganyan. Suction. As may size ka naman dito. May size ka dyan for discharge. Now, pagdating dito, pababa, okay, you have Z. Okay, ZM. Pataas, from your datum line, meron kang Z. Yeah. 
Now, ano pang kulang mo dyan? Siyempre, meron kang magiging flow na Q. Okay? And that is constant throughout the system. Now, key notes. Sir, kung ito yung ating calculation, then we could say that the total dynamic head or the total head, T, T, A, is equal to your HB. Okay, the change in HB. Ano ba yung HB? Okay, so that is the uh, HB at 2 minus HB at 1 plus HP. So, pressure head. Head pressure 1 or 2 minus head pressure ni 1 plus uh, the uh, head potential head ni 2 minus potential head ni 1 plus the total head loss. Anong gagawin mo dun? Ima-minus mo ba? No. Head loss. Head loss 1 plus head loss 2. Laging adyan. Okay. So, may nakalimutan ba tayo? Wala. Let us extract. Now, paano ko makukuha sa velocity dito? V1. Okay. Paano ko makukuha? Binigay ko kanina. Sabi ni Sir, that is equal to 4 Q over 5 V squared. That is the formula. Ngayon, paano sa calculator? Okay. Ganito. My friends. Total dynamic head. Velocity head. Ayan. Meron kang V1 or V2 or J. V2 squared over 2G. Ayan. Minus V1 squared over 2G. Okay. Plus ano yan? Pressure head. That is <coughs> Excuse me. Pressure to nung sa discharge, sa 2 na lang ginagawa ko. So, this is 1. This is 2. Ayan. So, P2 minus P1 divided by gamma. So, ano to? Ang lalabas dito is meter. Ang lalabas dito is meter. Meter column yan, ha? And ito, Hz is uh, J2 minus J1. Ang lalabas dito is in meter. Plus yung head loss. Head loss 2 plus head loss 1. Hindi mo na minus yan ha. Laging additive ang head losses. Kasi ahabuli ng system mo yung losses. <coughs> so that is in meters. Sir, may technique po ba tayo sa total dynamic head? Yes, meron. Ngayon, in order for you to solve this, ganito yung input mo sa alq. Mas may kita nito pag in na natin. Okay? Ano ko muna? Nakapayan ko. Di ba sabi ko yung V is 4Q, e eh, constant naman ng Q. So, 4Q over pi V2 squared. Tapos, square mo yan buo. That is V2. Okay? Minus over 2G minus input mo ulit 4Q over pi V1 squared squared 2G Sir, kakasya po ba sa calculator to? Yes, kakasya to. I assure you, kakasya sa calculator yan. I have done this too many times in too many years. Napaulit-ulit ko nasosolve si total dynamic head ng ganun lang kabilis. So, this will be pressure 2 minus pressure 1 over gamma ng iyong fluid plus J2 minus J1 J plus yung head loss total. Head loss total. Sir, meron ka pa bang technique? Yes. Isolate muna natin to. Okay? So, dito. What if, what if, at suction, PS is in vacuum.
O nga sir, paano kung vacuum si suction pressure? Okay. Paano kung vacuum? Sir, ganito po yan. Your PS is in vacuum, then the value should be in negative. Okay? So, paano kung naka-gauge yan? Vacuum gauge. Ngayon, add mo lang ng 101.325 yung atmosphere. Minus. Okay? So, uh, what if naman, what if they at below ng center line? O bump. Simple. Kapag below ng center line, okay, syempre, negative yan. Below nga. Eh. is negative. Okay? Tignan nyo dito sa, sa drawing. Below na center line, therefore, this is negative. And this one is positive. Sir, paano kung nandito siya? Ito, another scenario. Let us see. Okay. What if nandito si Ray S. Nandaan? Ano mangyayari sa elevation head ko dyan? E yung Z mo nandito, Z. Sir, ganito yan. Okay? Kapag nandito, ang equal dito, yung total H, Z mo, equal to ZD minus, positive to, di ba? Positive. Plus ZF. Okay. So, this will be ZD minus ZF. Sir, paano pag nasa pa ba? Di ba ZS is negative? So, HZ is equal to, ano? ZD minus minus ZF. Then, that is the time magiging ZD plus Okay? You getting my point? Ha? Ah, maliwanag? Okay? So, uh, ganun lang yon. Paano pag vacuum? So, minus, add ka na lang ng parati ng atmospheric kahit minus siya. Okay? Para gawin natin siyang absolute. Okay? So, that is the first part ng inyong discussion pagdating ng ating uh, Bernoulli's equation. Okay? I have prepared seven problems here. And those problems are uh, solved na. All you have to do is to watch those problems. Okay? And then let us take a break. And uh, let me go to your pumps after this.